Hello, my name is Franklin McMahon from Franklin McMahon Studio. We do marketing, web development, photography, video production, all that fun, creative stuff. The website's it's right on the screen there if you want to check it out, take a look. Anyway, I wanted to talk about Photoshop. I get this question all the time. I get it so much that I figured I'd do a little special show on it. And the show is basically about where can I learn Photoshop? How can I learn Photoshop? What's the best way to do it? So my advice is going to be probably not what you want to hear, but my advice is learn the craft and then the tool. So here's what I mean by that. A lot of people want to learn graphic design, so they get Photoshop, and they start taking Photoshop courses, and they, they get really good at Photoshop, but they've missed a huge element. They've missed graphic design. They've missed typography, color theory, invisible grids, all that stuff that really makes design look amazing. So if you start to take Photoshop classes, and you could spend a real lot of time doing it and learning it and learning all the tools that are available, if you miss that huge chunk of graphic design, a lot of your Photoshop stuff is maybe not going to look that great. Kind of like being an architect. If you want to be an architect, uh, you would probably go to architecture school and you would learn the, the art of it and the craft and how to design stuff. Or you could just use the learn the tool. You could just learn how to use hammers and saws and you could take, you know, 10 courses on how to use a hammer, 10 on how to use a saw. But you would never have that background of architecture to make your stuff that you're producing look really amazing. So you may be a photographer. So you may say, well, I need Photoshop because I need to, you know, tweak my, my photos. Again, learn the craft before the tool. Learn photography. Learn about painting with light. Learn about aperture and exposure and how to tweak it so it looks great. You'll find that if you learn that craft, you will spend a lot less time in Photoshop tweaking and correcting. So if you miss that whole photography and just jump right into Photoshop, you will spend hours and hours and hours in Photoshop really tweaking hundreds and hundreds of pictures because they're just not quite right. The saturation of the color is not there. The contrast is a little contrasty. The exposure is a little off. So again, learn the craft before the tool. So that's my advice. And again, I get a lot of people saying, you know, I want to learn graphic design, so I need to get a copy of Photoshop. Which version of Photoshop? Again, I'm getting a little worked up about this because you really need to learn the craft before the tool. So again, most people don't have, you know, you know, all day and all night to learn these things. So you really want to spend a lot of time where you'll get the most bang for the buck. And I think, in my opinion, it's learning that foundation of graphic design and even photography, learning about painting with light and learning how to compose and learning how to see creatively. There's a lot of great books out there. There's a lot of great courses. You know, a lot of colleges have continuing ed. So if you focus on that stuff, then when you get to the tool, that's when it really sings. That's when you really take all that knowledge, and then you learn the tool and make your stuff look amazing. So, hey, send me some of your stuff if you have some amazing stuff you want to share. And again, keep the questions rolling in. The email is right on the screen there. We appreciate it. I'll be answering some more uh, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned and uh, leave a comment. Any questions, leave a comment, and we appreciate your feedback. My name is Franklin McMahon, and we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.